Ever wonder what powers those massive rockets blasting off into space? We often see the final product, the sleek rocket soaring upwards. But the real magic lies in the engine. And recently, the Indian Space Research Organization has revealed an impressive piece of tech, the SCE-200, a semi-cryogenic engine. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, semi-cryo, what does this even mean? Well, stick around, because this isn't just another engine. It's a potential game changer. And this recent ISRO engine test shows the power of the SCE-200. So, let's break it down. Traditional rocket systems use some pretty nasty stuff, like UDMH, which is basically a super toxic fuel. ISRO decided to switch things up, going with a mixture of liquid oxygen and kerosene. Now, kerosene? We know that. It's way less harmful. Think of it as a step towards greener space travel. But it's not just about being eco-friendly. This engine packs a punch. It's designed to boost payload capacity, meaning it can launch even heavier satellites and potentially even bigger missions. Imagine more powerful communication satellites, better Earth observation for things like weather forecasting, and even more ambitious space exploration. Also, here's the kicker. It's potentially cheaper to run than some of the older tech. See, kerosene is easier to handle than some of the super cold hydrogen that other engines use. That makes a big difference in cost. Think of it like swapping out a high-maintenance sports car for a reliable, fuel-efficient machine. This new engine is a part of space technology advancements we are seeing from ISRO and it is a crucial part of the future of Indian space missions. Thus, the semi-cryogenic engine ISRO has created is a very important step. While companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are advancing methane fuel engines for their clean burning and reusable properties, ISRO's choice of kerosene-based design serves a different purpose, which is delivering heavy payloads with maximum efficiency. Tailored for India's future heavy lift rockets, including potential upgrades to LVM-3 and other ambitious projects, the SCE-200 is designed to support deeper space exploration and larger satellites. While the core technology is homegrown, it's worth noting that ISRO did collaborate with Ukraine early on, getting some initial design insights and probably even some testing. And if you're enjoying this content, then please like, share and subscribe. We are new and this really helps us to grow. Now, this engine is set to play a key role in ISRO's future. Think about the possibilities. Heavier satellites, deeper space exploration, and maybe even getting humans out into further space exploration. So, what does all this mean? Well, for ISRO, it's a big step forward. It means more powerful launches, potentially lower cost, and a greener way to reach space. But it also means better connectivity, more accurate weather forecasts, and maybe even a deeper understanding of our universe. This space technology isn't just about rockets. It's about the technology that powers our daily lives. And honestly, it's pretty exciting to see where it takes them. What do you guys think? Is this the future of space travel? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the cool tech that's shaping our world.